was going to wait, but it looks like we have our answer on what happened with that appeal. And it relates to this because this is actually pretty important. Cinema Blend put this out today, 42 minutes ago to be exact. And they ask this question as the title, headline, could AH just file for bankruptcy to avoid paying JD? And the answer is, of course, no. (laughs) No. Uh, She cannot do that. To avoid doing that, she has to put the $10 million up for a bond with her appeal. She didn't do that. She instead filed $500 to just put her appeal in. So during however long it takes for that appeal to get brought up, I don't know how long that'll take. For those of you that are familiar with the Vic Mignogna situation, It's been years, and we're still waiting for that appeal. So this could take a long time just to get just to get a hearing. Who knows when we'll get a a a verdict? That could take that could take even longer. But no, uh, because of the way that she was found guilty, because she was found guilty with malice, she cannot do that. She cannot declare bankruptcy. That won't work. So she's going to have to pay that money. And we now know, thanks to the DUI guy over on Twitter, at the DUI guy plus, uh, she didn't put that money up. She failed to post that money by the deadline. I guess AH failed to post her appeal bond yesterday. The deadline, which means JD can start collecting his money today, go get her tiger. Uh, I hope he does. I hope he goes after every cent. I hope he grabs it all. And you know what a cool thing that he could do is get that money and donate it all to the children's hospital that she said she was going to donate it to. Here you go. Don't give it to the ACLU. They're, they're a garbage corporation. Give all of it, all of it, every cent to that children's hospital. I think that would be a boss move. Oh, here. And this isn't going to take care of her pledge, by the way. I'm putting this in my name. This comes from me. Here you go. Don't worry about the the pledge. That's still on her. She still has to pay him. But here's millions of dollars from me. I think that would be a, a great way to go about it. So he can now go after his money. Any time now. And there's money there to take. That book deal, don't forget, uh, the money for that has been kicked around, and it's $15 million. That is the that is the rumor, anyway. It's being kicked around, and it's been kicked around from enough people that I tend to believe it. Uh, $50 million for for, you know, a a book deal from someone like her on a big high profile case, like there has been with this. Uh, It's not crazy to think that someone's willing to pay her 15 million. So that book is coming. There's money there to take plus her assets. She has that desert home and another home. I'm sure all that can be yanked. Now I used to say, well, it'd be best to just let it go, but she won't let it go. So I think the judgment should be enforced. You don't want to let it go? Fine. I won't let it go. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I think this will lead to another hearing eventually where they have to go through her assets. Uh, I don't know if anything from that will be public, but that sure will be an interesting document to read over. Now, finally, I talked about this earlier, and I'm going to actually link this video in the description, because it's very informative. But Eve Barlow has been sharing a photo on Twitter saying that, and it's fake news, by the way. It's not real. It's a picture right here. So here's Eve Barlow. Why is the doctor who did AH's independent medical examination and appeared as an expert witness on the stand also best friend, best friends with 
his legal counsel, Camille Vasquez. This is a photoshopped picture. So she's sharing fake news. And this is funny. Like, this is supposed to be a journalist, a person of integrity. And we know that's not true. Uh, a a high-class journalist of fa- sharing fake shit. Faring, or sharing fake news. That's what she's doing. It's been proven to be a Photoshop. It comes from this picture. So this is a picture of Camille and her friend hanging out or something. I don't know. That's her business, what she does in her personal life. I'm not interested in her personal life. But somebody else is, and they went and they took this picture of her hanging out with her friend here, and they Photoshopped it into this picture. Boom. Busted. But Team AH doesn't care about that because they don't have any integrity. And you know what else is really funny? None of the outlets will pick this up and talk about it. They won't cover this. They won't dis- They won't dispute it. They won't try to expose this. Oh, Team AH sharing a bunch of fake garbage. They won't make any comments about that. And it just shows you. This is why they didn't like all of this being public. Because they don't bother to fact check stuff like this that her team shares. But I can tell you this. If one of his buddies had done this, it'd be all over the news. Every outlet would cover it. Proof that GD's a jerk. Proof that he's a liar. Look at the persons that support JD. It's the double standard that exists. It's, it's a double standard. It's a huge double standard, and it's a problem. It's a problem. So, anyway, check out this video. I'm going to link it, like I said, give it a watch. And that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see all of you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter... Over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.